multiply and divide rational expressions. These are also known as multiplying and dividing algebraic expressions. Okay, so let's have a look at some examples. These are quite simple and straightforward, um, but once you get onto the higher level questions, it gets quite tricky. So let's start off quite simple and straightforward first and see, you know, what type of questions you can have. So to start off with, you might have something like 3x over, um, I don't know, 6. Okay. Um, then times by 7 over 4x. Okay, so it's the same as times in fractions. You just times the tops together and times the bottom together. So 3x times 7 is 21x. And then 6 times 4x is 24x. The little catch to this is that you are expected in your GCSE exams and your assessments to cancel the fractions down at the end if they can be cancelled down. So first of all, you know that you can cancel the x's because x divided by x is just 1. So you're left with 21 over 24. Well, is there a number that I can divide 21 and 24 by? There is, both in the 3 times table. So I'm just going to write divide by 3 and divide by 3. That's your working out marks. 21 divided by 3 is 7 and 24 divided by 3 is 8. So my answer is 7 eighths. Again, you might have something like 3x over 5 times 7x over 9. Again, very similar situation, times the tops and times the bottoms. Um, 3x times 7x is 21x squared and 5 times 9 is 45. Well, the 45 doesn't have an X with it, so we can't cancel any Xs, but 21 and 45, they're both in the three times table, aren't they? So I can divide again, both by three. I know that 21 divided by three is seven, so that's seven X squared, and 45 divided by three is 15. I can't do it anymore. So that is my final answer. Let's have a look then. At a divide one. Let's do 7 over 10x divided by 5x over 8. Okay, so dividing, you can't just divide the tops and bottoms. Remember um, the keep flip change method where the first fraction stays the same. So 7 over 10x, you flip the second fraction over, so it's 8 over 5x, and you change the divide to a times. OK, so now what we have to do is times the tops together, 56, and 10x times 5x is 50x squared. Simplify now, which is a must. You can't just leave the answer as it is. The top doesn't have an x with it, so we can't cancel any x squared. But I can divide top and bottom by 2 for now. They're both even, so let's see what we get. Half of 56 is 28. And a half of 50 is 25x squared. There is nothing else I can cancel this down by, so it's going to have to stay. Okay, so that was quite simple and straightforward, wasn't it? Let's have a look then at something that's slightly more different. Let's have a look at 5 over 7x minus 7 times by 5x minus 5 over 6x. Okay, so we're times in tops and bottoms, okay? Because it's a timesing, it's quite simple and straightforward. You just time the tops together, you times the bottoms together. Well, 5 times 5x minus 5, I'm going to write as a bracket. Okay, because a bracket in maths means multiply. I'm going to do exactly the same with the bottom one, 6x times 7x minus 7. OK, now I'm going to just expand the bracket. It's a bit easier. 25x minus 25 all over uh, 42x squared minus 42. OK, and that's that. I can't do anything else with it. I can't simplify anything down. Um, the top numbers are both 25. The bottom numbers are both 42. 
also there is no number that I can actually divide them by. Therefore, it's going to have to stay as it is. Let's have a look at another example like this and see what we end up with. 2x plus 6 over 5x times 7 over 9x plus 27. Okay, so we're timesing, aren't we? Top and bottom. Um, so lots of different ways you can do this. So let's have a look first way. If we were to do it originally, let's see what, what happens. So I'm going to do 7 times 2x plus 6. I'm going to write it as a bracket, remember? 5x times 9x plus 27. Okay, a few things here now that we can do. Let's, let's expand out first and see what's going to happen and then see why we need to do it a bit differently. If I was to expand this out, I get 14x plus 42 over uh, 45x squared plus 27 times 5 is 135x. Um, we've got some big numbers here and too many numbers here at the moment. Um, so a bit hard for us to simplify anything out. If we were to simplify, what we would need to do is look to see if there's a number that we can divide 14, 42, 45 and 135 by, which is possible. But let's have a look at another different way. So from here, I'm going to keep the seven on the outside, but can I factorize two x plus six? I can count I because I can take out a two. So I'm going to write times two and take out a two inside the bracket goes x plus three. Okay. And I'm going to do the same with the other one. I've got 5x. Is there anything I can take out of 9 and 27? Uh, well, 9 is in both the times table. So I'm going to have times by 9 over x plus 3. Okay, so this is why we need to do this and not this, okay? Because that is quite hard to simplify. And the whole aim is after you've times and after you've divided that you need to be able to simplify your fraction or your answer down. So now you can clearly see that we have a timesing relationship at the top. We've got seven times two times X plus three. And at the bottom, we've got five X times nine times X plus three. And remember in maths, if you've got a timesing relationship, we can cancel. And we've got two of the same bracket, so they cancel. So I'm just left with seven times two at the top and five X times nine at the bottom. And I'm left with 14 over, well, five times nine is 45 X. Okay. Um, that could have been done over here as well. Um, and obviously, looking at that, that answer was incorrect um, because we could simplify that. So let's have a look. We simplify. If I get rid of this, so you can clearly see then. We can take out a five, can't we, from that bracket because five is in that. So five times five inside the bracket goes X minus one. This one, oops, let me get rid of that, is six X times, well, I can take out a seven and inside goes X minus one. And you can see that we can cancel the X minus ones. So here we're left with five times five, there six X times seven. That's 25 over 42 X. Uh, I think we can cancel this further, can we? No, we can't because there's no number that goes into 25 and 42 and that is your final answer. Let's have a look at something like this, but shall we have a look at a divide one? Um, let's have a look at 6x plus 3 over 7x divided by 10x plus 5 all over 4. Okay, so... Dividing by fractions, remember, is keep, flip, change method. So keep the first fraction, 6x plus 3 over 7x. Change the divide to a times and flip the second fraction over. Pretty simple and straightforward now because you just times the tops together. So remember, write it as a bracket. 4 times 6x plus 3 can be written as a bracket. And that's 7x bracket 10. 10 
x plus 5. Okay. Factorise now. What can we take out of each bracket? So I've got 4 times. 3 is the highest number that goes into that. So I'm going to take out a 3 inside 2x plus 1. The bottom is 7x times 5 is the highest number. 2x plus 1. And generally what you'll find, tend to find now is there's a pattern where you end up with the same brackets and then you can cancel the brackets down. Because we've got the same bracket, we can cancel. We're left with 4 times 3 and 7x times 5 at the bottom. 4 times 3 is 12 and 7x times 5 is 35x. We can simplify this one, can we? Um, no, because in 35 is only 7 and 5 and 12 doesn't go into it so that is your final answer another one like this let's have a look Four y over 9y minus 36 divided by 5 over 2y minus 8 okay so keep keep flip change we've got 4y over 9y minus 36, keep, change the sign and flip. Okay, remember write as brackets now. So I'm gonna write it here at the bottom, 4y times 2y minus eight in a bracket and five times 9y minus 36. So what you need to do now is factorize. So I could take out a 2, so 4y times 2 inside goes y minus 4. 5 times, the highest number that goes into 9 and 36 is 9, so it's y minus 4 again. And again, you can see that we have ended up with the same bracket, so that cancels. I've got 4y times 2 there, and 5 times 9 at the bottom. That becomes 8y minus 45. And we can't simplify because there's no number that goes into 8 and 45. So that's it. Let's have a look. With a different example. Okay, so let's have a look. We are timesing, so we just time the top and bottoms together. So again, I'm going to write it as a, a bracket. Okay, lovely. Um. Okay, so again, what we need to do is we need to factorize to take out something they both have. So the top one there now has got an X in common and the highest number that goes into nine and six is three. So I can take out a three X. Inside goes three X plus two. At the bottom, five times, highest number goes is seven. Inside three X plus two. Again, what you've noticed is we end up with the same bracket that cancels. And then we've got four times three X at the top, which is 12 X over 35. We can simplify this one now, can we? No, we can't because again, 35 only five and seven goes into it. So therefore that is our answer. What if we had something like this? 4 X minus 16 over seven. Um, divided by 10x squared minus 40x all over 9x. So it's divide, so we're going to do keep flip change. Keep first fraction, change the sign, flip. Okay, so write as a bracket, 4x minus 16 times by 9x. 7 times 10x squared minus 40x. Right, factorise. Top, we've got 9x times. Um, 
highest number is four. So x minus four. Let's sort that out. Okay, bottom one, seven times. Highest thing is 10x that I can take out. So it's x minus four. Again, we have the same bracket. So we can cancel and cancel. At the top, we've got 36x and at the bottom, 70x. We can simplify this now because we can get rid of the x's. So we've got 30x over 70. Now they're both even numbers, so we can half. So a half of 36 is 18 and a half of 70 is 35. And we can't simplify this any further. So that would be our answer. So you can see from the starting there, all that there is just the working out for that one question over there. Before we end our lesson, let's have a look at a slightly harder question. Nine over x squared minus four x plus three times by x minus three over two. Okay, so it's timesing, so you just time the top and bottom. I'm just going to write it out as a as a bracket, and the bottom is two times x squared minus four x plus three. Right. I can't really take anything out of the bracket in that, um, x minus three, so that stays the same. Now this here, I need to factorize, and it's going to come a double bracket. So two numbers at times to make three and add to make minus four. So it's minus three and minus one. And then what you find here is that one of the brackets is the same. So that cancels. I'm left with nine at the top and at the bottom, two times x minus one. I can't simplify the nine and the two because they don't go into each other. Therefore, that is our answer. And that is an example of a slightly harder uh, type of question where you've got a quadratic equation and then you have to factorize it to get a double bracket. Um, and then you have to use that to simplify your answer. Lots of different questions we've looked at in today's lesson. I hope it was useful. Thank you for watching.